Hello again, everybody. Today we're going to do some endgame practice, more exact pawn endgame practice. In this study, we are looking at uh, some trouble for white, but we want to and we can save a draw here. And, and the question is how? Let me just take the like the worst move for white and show that this is losing. Like king a4, moving away, uh, making the way for the pawn. And we will just raise the pawns, something like this. Queen, and we promote to a queen. And now we've got the queen each, but black will give a check on a1. We have to move our king, another check. And we lose our queen and we are losing the game so that was just an example on how not to play so now you can pause the video and see how to play for white to really save this draw uh, go ahead now and we will go through it together afterwards all right here we go so obviously king a4 didn't work uh, king a3 will not work for the exact same reasons. Be a queen here, a queen there, and then black will check, and then check, and take. So, but this is not working either, king a5. If you found this, it's actually not working. I will show you why. f5, b4, f4, b5. And the plan is, of course... For white to promote here for black and then we promote and then check king b6 and then the king can come to c7 or a7 after the next check but here black has a better move than f3 a lot better so he wastes one temple to go and attack this pawn we keep on going black wastes another temple to king b6 but now he's really threatening to stop the pawn so White is forced to play king a6. So now black weighs a two tempo, and now we continue, meaning that white will promote first, but that doesn't really matter, because after promotion, we check. That was the point, of course, getting the king to a6, so black can promote with a check. And look at this. Well, you have to move the king. You cannot put your queen in between. You will just lose it. And after uh, king a7, well, then it's a checkmate right away. So if the king goes to a5, then we have the same idea like before. And black takes there, and white is losing. So, all right. All these three moves are losing then. There's no point in moving your pawn. Absolutely no point at all. So the winning move... Is actually King B3. No, sorry, not the winning move. The move that saves the draw. Let, let us be clear there. We just want to save a draw. King B3 is the only move for white that saves the draw. And now, it looks very strange. But it has a point. Because now white wants to go here and stop this pawn. So if black plays like F5 and King C2... This is not a good variation for black, but just, just to show something like this. And we will reach here, and we will still have our pawn. So it's a fairly easy draw here. But of course, after king b3, black cannot allow this to be so easy for white. So he cannot really move this pawn. He doesn't want to allow king c2. So instead he plays king d3. And black is not wasting a tempo here because white has already moved and not cleared away for the pawn. So black does the same. He just blocks the king out like this with the opposition, saving uh, or protecting his pawn to really come and promote. But still, this is this is a draw for white. Can you see how from here? All right, here we go. If we try something like this again, it's all again losing for exact same reasons. Just to be overly clear, let's just show this. 
promote, promote, check, and check, and lose the queen. So, okay, because white moved down, so it really doesn't give any point to play on to a4. But the only move from white here is actually king a2. Now he releases the wave for the pawn and also protects the check on the first rank that black planned after promoting. We cannot really stop this pawn. Uh, let's just see what happens here if black plays f5. Well, he, he will play f5 in any case. This is losing still. Because, yes, we're in this square, as we talk about, but it's not good enough because black will just block king's way to, to attack and we will win. So, after f5, instead white will rush his own pawn. And the plan is now to promote each... White will be black will be one step ahead, but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have any good checks. On the first rank, he has to check on the second rank, and then white can just play queen b2. But it's not it's not over here because black has another cunning move. Instead of running his own pawn here, he can actually stop white's pawn with king c4. Okay. So now we think, well, if he stops our pawn, that gives us the chance to enter uh, this square, as we talk about, and we can stop this pawn. But actually, this is still losing, because black will take on b4 and get the opposition to the king. Meaning, if we continue like this, Black will have opposition. And finally, when we reach us here, we are in Sugsvang. We have to move somewhere, say here, and black will get this uh, pawn all the way down. I can show you, like, continue like this. And this is just normal pawn endgame technique. And this pawn cannot be stopped. So, moving back again. At this position, we cannot play king b2 because uh, of king takes from b4 and get the opposition. So but there are actually two moves here that will give white a draw. We can play either king b1. It moves ourselves closer to this pawn, and so we can still stop it. And if king takes b4 for black, then we get the opposition with king b2. So this is actually leading to a draw. But there's maybe easier ways just to play b5. Uh, now black has to take, otherwise we will we will promote. And then we can take the opposition on b3 instead, which is even easier just to get this uh, ahead here. So this is uh, maybe the easiest variation for white to win there. Okay, so just one last thing. Can black play f6 instead with the same thoughts? Uh, let's look at that. b4, c4. Uh, we can still not play king, king b2. Easiest is to play b5, take. Maybe get some opposition here, but it doesn't work, really work because we get the opposition anyway. Uh, like this. Or if he plays f5, but then we are reaching in front of uh, his pawn. So it's not going to be anything good for black either. So, no, this is not doing... Okay, let's just check this like this. And we go here. Get the opposition. He moves back. We move back. Goes here. He flies the other way. We just move here. This is a draw. So all of this together from the beginning... We have to play king b3 here with the idea of going here. If black 
pushes you away, you have to go to a2 with the idea of blocking the king's check on the first rank or perhaps move around depending on what black does. Beautiful study and very informative. And this was a long video, but I hope you learned to some more pawn and game techniques. Uh, please make a comment and give a like to the video and uh, come back for more. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.